Well, there's something you learned today. Apparently, the ear design for Shrek is actually trademarked separately from Shrek. I didn't know that. The wait is ogre, as I can't which film used that horrible tagline, but uh, this is Shrek Treasure Hunt for the PlayStation. Now, I think, if I remember rightly, this is not the first Shrek video game. I think the original, so there was an Xbox launch game developed by DICE, unbelievably, of Battlefront and like, Battlefield fame. For the original Xbox that eventually got ported to the GameCube. I'm trying to track a copy of that down. Uh, but I figured we'd start here with what must be one of the last PlayStation games ever made. This is Shrek Treasure Hunt for the PlayStation. Uh, it came out November 2002? <laughs> That's just... Like, for, for context, the PlayStation 2 came out over here, March 2001? This is the full 18 months after that console's out. Uh, which is, I mean, they were pretty much putting out nothing but kids' games in 2002-2003. Uh, I think they were even making PlayStation games in 2004. But anyway, published by TDK Media Active, which if you're not familiar with the company TDK, you weren't buying cassettes or VHS tapes in the 90s and 2000s, because that was kind of how most people heard of them. They were kind of a media company. Uh, but they also had this publishing arm that published games like the Shrek, the early Shrek games were THQ, uh, THQ, TDK games. Uh, there's a He-Man game. There's a, there's a bunch of other licensed stuff, which we'll eventually come to, but... This music is looping, so I'm going to make sure that it's set up. Easy or hard? Let's go easy. It's difficult enough to talk and... Uh... Oh, God. I wish I hadn't pressed that. Let's go back and start a new game. Shrek is planning a special picnic for Princess Fiona. <laughs> Shrek trademark is planning a special picnic for Princess Fiona. Trademark. must be in the swamp somewhere. Use the swamp map to help Shrek locate Register the trademark. before Princess Fiona arrives. Trademark. Is that it? <laughs> I don't really know what type of game this is, actually. So this would be fun for all of us. Ogre, beware. Beware, Ogre. I like that our screen says, please wait and loading. Just in case you weren't aware of what loading meant. Take your time. Anytime now. What's it going to look like? Is it going to be 2D? Is it going to be 3D? Is it a platformer? Is it a party game? It's only single player, so it can't be like a big party game. What type of game is it? Collect objects to unlock mini games and win reward items. All right. It's a 3D platformer. That runs at about eight frames a second. Also, I notice, apologies. It's not got the analog controls on. Oh yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Am I collecting cheese? This was developed by Code Monkeys, which was a UK-based developer. I don't know why the UK made so many licensed games. Um, wow, it's like a, it's like a. Ropey Spire of the Dragon. I'm having a hard time believing this is what the actual game ran like. Is this another one of those PS3 is ripping me off and not doing good emulation of PS1 games? Or did this game always look like this? So, so far I'm collecting items. I'm hoping to unlock a minigame anytime soon. Oh, it's camera. Where's this camera going? Stay behind me. Uh, okay, so I can hold square to walk instead of run. It's more like a saunter, really. Uh, press X to jump. Press... Nothing else seems to do anything. R1 will also walk. So I need 20 horseshoes to go in that building. This almost seems like it's going to be a waste of time uploading this at 50 frames a second video, because it can only be putting out about 15. Uh, so, where am I going to get up there? 
Is there no alternative camera options so I can see? Is that key? I want that key! Can I kill the enemies? Get back here. You know what, I don't even know why I'm asking why I can kill if I can kill the enemies. This is a Shrek game, of course I can't. Am I I can't tell yeah, the, the right analog stick doesn't seem to do anything. Ah, there's some over here. This giant bear hippo thing. Bear, I'm gonna say he's bear. 18. Oh, so close. One more. Yes. Mini game unlocked. In the wooded area. Uh, it was over here somewhere, wasn't it? Music's got some bounce to it. Got some personality. So I'm having a hard time believing the N60... The N60... Giving away what my sentence is going to be. The Wikipedia page suggests that there was an N64 version of this planned. Which, if you look at it, it looks like an N64 game. But I can't imagine that anyone's making N64 games in late 2002. I don't know. I find that hard to believe. I also... It also says that DICE was apparently a, a supposed to make this game. Uh, but instead of that, they went and made the GameCube port of the original Shrek for the Xbox. So... I'm, I'm struggling for what to believe here. Make your way to the reward item by climbing chains and jumping hazards. I should have looked at the controls. It's going to be X. It's going to be X. Yeah. It's just like Pandemonium. About six or seven years after Pandemonium was still acceptable. Ooh, where am I going? I don't want to go down the lava. Get off the... There we go. Go down there. Wow, wow. This really is like a 2D, 2.5D platformer. Did they play a lot of Duke Nukem... Man was it Manhattan Forever? What the hell was that game called? Oh! What was that Duke Nukem game called? I can't remember now. It was the 2D side scroll that came out on PC. It was kind of rubbish. I didn't do anything! <laughs> right. Jump. Oh, good God, come on. Hey, here we go. Yes. Got my 2.5D two, platforming chops back up again. This might not surprise you. These controls are not uh, conducive to 2.5D platforming. Oh, music's run out again. Go down here. Go down here. Like with with a higher frame rate and way better controls, this wouldn't be half bad. But it just kind of feels. Oh, oof! I thought I was gonna get crushed then. Oh, jeez. Like possibly if they'd have put this out on the PS2 where they had a bit more um, firepower, they might have got away with it. It's a glowing wall. 
There's a lot of uh, leaps of faith having to happen here as well. Oh, I didn't know. God. Yes, yeah, I can't see down, which is not helping me. I can't crouch to give myself a bit more um, visibility of what's going on. So I know at least now it drops down and then it goes left. I I made that jump. I could jump down. Oh, I'm just trying to be too quick now. Try to cheese it. I'm not sure, I'm not going to generalise for all kids, but I'm not sure most kids would have the patience for this. Or possibly it's just because I've had lunch and now I'm getting irritable. You could probably add to the music though, so... Right. I'm not going to miss this jump. I am going to miss this jump. Preloaded that way too much. Oh my. Oh! <laughs> Concentrate! It's this triumphant music. I just want to. Whoa! What just happened? I became one with the platform. I'm running out of time here. Even in the kids game, I'm running out of time. Come on, go left and yes! I got the thing! That's not a balloon animal. Come on, you gotta do more work than that. You can't just bunch it up and go, it's a W! It's two W stuck together. That's some lazy balloon animal work. I expect better, Shrek. But so far, no Princess Fiona trademark, no donkey trademark. There has been plenty of Shrek and Shrek ear design trademark. Hmm. It's been a lot of loading time. I'm more kind of interested in the fact that they were still making these games for the PlayStation 1. I guess maybe they did keep making kids get man the frame rate in these open world sections are rough so I guess I'm done in this open world section is there like a oh there's a save game option that's nice there's multiple areas I mean for all good picnics you need 20 horseshoes I don't really know that let's go back this way There's more stuff to collect. Let's collect it. I mean, at least cheese is a picnic food. Oh, 10 second shield. What's this? Stay out. Wait, is that supposed to be my house? Dear Lord. It's worth pointing out at this point in the trajectory, they'd only put out one Shrek movie. Uh, what's over here? What's that supposed to be? A wave? Let's go surfing. Also, a different loading screen between the mini games and the open world sections. So I'm guessing that must be in a different, slightly different engine or.
guy's rolling. I hope he makes a key lime salad, because I don't know what else he's going to do with all these keys. I could have said key lime pie, but I thought if you actually use real keys, I feel like a salad is probably more appropriate. Can I... Can't get to that, because it's behind some sort of random gate. That's a big rock. Man, this is like the... If you ever played the Panja Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, it's like the joke at the start of that game. Where there's literally just a massive line of collectibles on a, on a line, and it makes you run to collect them all. This is... incredible. No! Oh, I didn't mean to go through there. Go back. Go back the way you came. I'm not done with those keys. Now it won't let me in there because it's an invisible wall. Hmm. I'm not sure. Our first outing with Shrek seems to be uh, disappointing me so far. Music's alright though. It's cheery. I mean, I've got like 18 keys. Can I go in the water? I can? But I'm very slow in the water. Oh, I can jump on the lily pads though. That's quite handy. Can I jump on those? No, nope. that's just a graphic. Oh, these these platforming controls are not going to be good enough for me to get on here, are they? Uh, camera is having a hard time. It's, oh, it's platforming. It's, I wish I could do frame rate analysis. I would love to know what frame rate I'm getting. I feel like we are almost in the 10 to 15 frames a second camp. This is something else. I mean, granted, they're working with seven year old hardware at this point, so. This doesn't look half bad graphically. Like, Shrek's a bit green, but other than that. Alright, so I've got. How am I gonna seven more keys to find? Can I kill that guy by walking into him? No. Nope. I'm just invulnerable for ten seconds. So what was that key behind the gate? How do I get to that? get through there. Oh, what am I stuck on now? Do the signposts tell me anything or are they just decorative? Am I mis... Uh, I'm not able to see the control screen, am I? This music feels far too cheery. Is that, that's the way I came in. But there was another area off the back of here, though, wasn't there? Yeah, there we go. Let's go there. See what else we can find. It'd be nice to find at least one more minigame before we call it quits. Oh!
Can the enemies even hurt you in this game? It doesn't seem like they can. I need 16 knights. Alright. Can I get through those? I bet I can't. No. Can't jump down there. About the way I came. Guys, camera, I can't see where I'm going. The camera's gone all top down, now I can't see what's in front of me. Nine knights. Just mighty more. We can have ourselves a Dynasty Warriors fuel battle. Where are you going, camera? Just three more. Still gonna have this one locked behind. Can I can't walk in there. Well, I'm sort of at a loss. You always expect with these games that they'd be totally self-explanatory because they're expecting you know kids of a certain age to be able to play them. That's why most of the collectibles are in a straight line. I mean, I think they're, you know, insulting to a kid's intelligence because kids are, as, as you know, as most kids have proven by building, you know, the most incredible things in Minecraft, they're perfectly capable of thinking for themselves. And if you leave them with enough time and... I think the problem these days is more kind of a, can you get them to... Or can you get anybody to stay with something long enough to figure out what's going wrong? But this just seems like... like we're insulting your intelligence by making the collectibles almost too easy to collect but we're also putting these roadblocks in the way to get you to think but not giving you the tools or the even the instruction to know oh, that's just a wall what to do but the, the key to a great game design is to make somebody feel like they're intelligent even if they're not not necessarily to make something so simple that it's borderline pointless Oh. So I've only got one more to collect. Oh, that one behind the... Wait. So what's the one behind the fences? I'm confused. Is that just another key? Oh, is the key the last thing you get to collect? Do you have to do a mission and then collect a key from each area or something? I don't care, I got another minigame unlocked. Let's go! Hopefully it's not more platforming adventures, because I wasn't very good at it last time. We're going to see another sick loading screen. Splat the night! They've made a surprising amount of Shrek games. <laughs> It's the thing I didn't really think about when I started doing these. When when you get into the, like the, well, let's start looking at Shrek games. Then you look at the amount that there are, and the price of some of them have gotten very high. You start thinking, do I really want to spend a lot of pounds on a Shrek game? Okay, so this looks like it's going to be a light gun shooter esque thing. What? Okay, so you have to hit him with two tomatoes. Why couldn't it just be one? I'm also not having to aim, I literally just point in the, uh, the curse in the right direction, and then it just locks on. One more. 
also I can get them through the scenery. Such is the power of Shrek's throwing ability. Am I going to get another balloon animal? It's the same one! Two W's. I feel robbed. <laughs> I was hoping for different balloon animals. Also, they're not the balloon animals. He's just making wavy lines. Unless he's trying to point out the majesty of a snake that has sharp right angles instead of a smooth tail. I'll be honest, I don't know. I'm going to go see what's behind that fence. And I'm going to call it quits. But that's Shrek treasure, ch treasure chest? Treasure hunt. Um, no, it's still there. Can't, can't see what it is. I'm trying to swing the camera around. That's ah, a key. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll never find out how to get that key because that is, this is literally the last thing I'm going to play about of Shrek Treasure Hunt. Uh, but we can enjoy the music for a little while, can't we? Yeah, that's Shrek Treasure Hunt. I can't wait to see what other Shrek games there are. I can't imagine the one that DICE built is going to be worse than this. But you never know. DICE made a lot of games before they made a Battlefield, so we'll find that out later on.